When I worked night shifts at a nursing home a few years ago, I got to know some very old people who really wanted to be with someone. I quietly helped a woman who found comfort in meditating by the window every night while thinking about her late husband. The longer it went on, the worse my health got. I had irregular periods that happened about twice a month and a general feeling of being sick. At first, I thought these changes were caused by the stress of working night shifts. But when the symptoms didn't get better after months, I went to see a doctor. I was shocked to find out that my blood cell count had dropped so low that I needed dialysis and that I also had serious uterine fibroids that needed to be treated right away. Even though I wasn't sure at first, I went to the hospital for blood donations to raise my blood cell count, even though I knew I had to have a hysterectomy. I promised myself that I would work out regularly after surgery to get my power back. I had to miss my daughter's wedding, which was hard, but I felt the sacrifice was worth it when my health started to get better. But four months after the surgery, I got a very bad infection at the site of the surgery, which caused a lot of pain and a long stay in the hospital. The doctor was keen to help me even though he didn't know what caused the infection. Even though they saw me hurt, my daughter and husband tried to stay strong. It felt like my body was moving more slowly, and the pain was really bad. I was feeling so dizzy that I thought I was floating away from my bed and leaving my body behind. When I was feeling lost, a deep warmth surrounded me and took me to a peaceful, beautiful place where my pain seemed to go away. As my sense of well-being returned, I watched the doctors work on the ventilator and heard the nurses talking nervously. Then I felt a warm, friendly presence next to me. When I looked up, I saw a figure bathed in soft light. The woman's face was peaceful and kind. Her soft robe, which had white wings on it, gave off a sparkling light that made the room feel like I wasn't alone. When I realized she was my guardian angel, all of my pain and stress seemed to go away, and I felt free in my soul. Being with her made me feel better, taking away my fears and feelings of being alone. I caught a glimpse of the deep beauty and wonder of life in that bright place, even though I didn't fully understand it. I felt like love connected life and death. When I asked my angel if I could meet my mother, he gave me a positive answer. Even though I had to make a tough choice, I felt very peaceful in that large, church-like space. It was a place with endless love and peace. When I was finally brought back to my body, the pain came back. I knew I was still living when my husband came to be with me. I was taken back to the warmth and safety of my angel every time I closed my eyes. I went back and forth between these worlds for two days. When I was with the angels, my body felt like it was wrapped in a golden, moving light that made me feel deeply connected to the universe. I asked the angel what the deepest secrets of life were. What is our mission on earth? She told me, our mission is to find and spread unconditional love. We're all on this trip, but we all have different ideas about what love is. Everybody grows in their own way, so there is no better way. Her words told me that love is at the heart of our lives no matter where we come from. Each person's journey is different, showing how they have grown. It's up to you, she told me when I asked if she thought it was possible to go back to Earth. There will be many chances in your life to choose whether to stay or go back home. I had a strong connection with the spiritual presence, but the thought of leaving this peaceful world made me sad. After that, I thought about my child. It was too much for her to think about losing her mother. I understood that I needed to stop caring about myself. Even though I wanted to stay in space, my sense of duty won out. My main goal became to keep my daughter from hurting. Even though the angels were there, I decided to go back to Earth. Being a mother required my love and support, which was more important to me than what I wanted. The meeting with the celestial people made me realize how important life is and how responsible I am. Once I made my choice, a strong force brought me back to the real world. I became aware of my body, my heartbeat, and my surroundings over time. As I tried to open my eyes, the hospital's clean air and the sound of medical equipment filled my senses. I slowly got back in charge by moving my fingers and feeling how my body responded. The doctor was ready to go. The doctor told me that two days ago my appendix had burst, giving me a very bad infection. Thankfully, the medicines were able to keep it under control. Things might have turned out differently if things were worse. This experience changed the way I value life and made me more determined to stay on Earth to support my family and deal with the challenges and changes that come with it.
This deep experience gave me a new way to look at the problems I face in life. Leaving the hospital after getting better felt like a big change. Now I feel like every day is important, and small problems don't bother me. I try to enjoy every moment as if it were my last. My perspective has changed a lot. Even though I've been through different things in my life, I now understand our shared goals and destinies, and know that we are all linked. When I told the doctor my story during a recent visit, he told me he thought I would make it. This amazing event has changed my beliefs and the way I live my life. It has also made me more determined to reach my goals and live a meaningful life with love and care for others.